We're back here at the sawmill today and we're finally gonna get to cutting some logs on the sawmill for the first time after installing this concrete slab. As you can tell by my shirt, it is super hot outside. It's the middle of summertime here in Florida and it gets up to about 100 degrees every day. The humidity is horrible, but we got two fans back behind me. You might be able to hear them on the microphone. So here beside me, I've got this short little log and you're probably asking, what's he gonna do with that little log? Well, one of the biggest things that we've been doing here at the shop is making charcuterie boards. And these short little logs are perfect for that because they're almost already cut to the size of the charcuterie boards. And I can make nice little like inch and a half to two inch thick slabs out of it and probably get about three or four good solid charcuterie board slabs. This log is actually a mystery log. I don't know what it is, but the closest thing that I've been able to guess is that it's a pecan log. I'm asking you guys, all you professional Sawyers out there, to help us out. When I cut into this log and I reveal the grain, I need you guys to help let me know what you think it is. Like I said, I think it's a pecan log just from looking at the end grain. Um, it looks completely different than all the other logs we have here. I don't think it's cherry and it's definitely not cedar, but it's got like a reddish tint to the end grain. So I'm super excited to break this thing open. We're gonna check out the grain and I need you guys to drop a comment below on what you think it is. If it is a pecan log, I'm gonna be super happy because I've been really wanting to get some pecan to make some projects up here at the shop. After we get this little log cut up and try to figure out what it is, I'm gonna grab another small log that is slightly a mystery, but I think I've pinpointed what it is and we'll get that up here and cut that open and see what it looks like. Couple quick announcements before we get started. Triple L Rustic Designs is this close to solidifying the kiln partnership. We should have a badass kiln here at our property in about a month and a half or so. Secondly, I wanna give a huge thanks to our partnering companies to include Saw Service of Washington for always providing us these amazing sawmill blades for our mill, Crafted Elements for always getting us the best silicone molds on the market for all of our epoxy projects, and most importantly, Ice Epoxy for making the greatest epoxy on the market with the best price and on that, we here at Triple L Rustic Designs are a distributor of ice epoxy. So if you're in this central Florida local area and you need some epoxy for one of your projects, reach out to me and I can get you ice epoxy for a great price. Let's get this little mystery log clamped down to the mill and let's cut it open and see what it looks like inside. All right, this was an absolute pain in the butt to get clamped down. It, that's usually the problem with these small logs is that it's hard to clamp them down on the mill, but it looks like we got it clamped down pretty sturdy. So let's get the mill fired up. We'll get it warmed up and then we'll cut into it. What I've done is now that we have water installed out here at the sawmill, I ran a hose to the lubrication valve and now we'll just be able to run water straight from the water spigot through and lube the blade as it's cutting. All right, so whatever this log is, is very dense, but look at the inside. It's got like a reddish figure. And I noticed this the other day when I cut a piece off the end grain and I, I saw how red and pink it looks. So once I get the next cut off, I'll spray it down with some water and I'll show you what it looks like on the camera. And guys, let me know. I, I think it may be pecan, but let me know if you think it's something else. It's definitely some kind of hard wood. Very, very hard wood.
Whatever this is, is very dense. I wonder if it's hickory. Any of you guys out there that have ever sawed hickory, is that what it looks like? Let me bring it a little closer so you can see. I'm gonna spray it down so you guys can see what this figure looks like. It's some kind of weird pink red color. See, it's a beautiful wood, but I just don't know what it is. All right, let's get this little log flipped over, put on the flat side, and then we'll start cutting some more. I cut that last slab at an inch and a half, and that seems to be a good size for the charcuterie board and cutting board projects. That way, whenever I get done planing it and sanding it, they should come out to about an inch. All right, this seems to be clamped down pretty good. We're gonna make a top cut, and then we'll try to get some more inch and a half slabs out of it. All right, this is definitely a hardwood because that blade and the sawmill is kind of struggling to get through there. I'm starting to think it may be hickory. I've never cut hickory, but maybe that's what it is. Oh man, there's a lot of sawdust caught on there. So let me wash it off and I'll show you what it looks like. Gosh, look how pretty that is. Something really nice. So that last cut was at six inches, so should be able to get four more nice slabs out of this thing. <sighs> well, this really sucks. I couldn't tell because I'm out here by myself and I can't always see what the camera's doing, but the camera overheated because like I said, it's a hundred degrees out here in central Florida. So, we lost those shots of cutting the rest of those slabs, but here's how they turned out. Really nice cuts on these slabs. I think these logs were sitting around for quite a long time because they already seem really dry. Like I'm interested to get them on the moisture meter and find out their moisture content, but they seem super dry. It's definitely a hard wood and it's got beautiful grain. So I can't wait to make some projects out of these. Now let's use the water hose, spray them down so you can see that true color. Now that's nice. Man, that's beautiful. We got six really nice slabs out of that little log. And once again, guys, if you think you know what kind of log this is by looking at the grain, please drop it in the comments below. I'm, I'm reaching out to you guys and I really need your help. Like I said, I think it may be pecan, but it also may be hickory. It's definitely some kind of hardwood, but it's not oak. It's not pine. It's not sweet gum. So I don't know what it is, but hopefully you guys do. Drop it in the comment section below. 
All right, we're gonna get these slabs moved off the mill and we're gonna get the next small log put up here to cut into some more charcuterie board slabs. All right, guys, next up on the cut list is what I believe to be sweet gum. This is the same log that we cut in the video where we thought it was white oak. So after all of y'all's comments on YouTube, I think we've determined that this is actually sweet gum and not white oak. When we cut into it, it has this beautiful dark brown figure on the inside, just like sweet gum does if you look it up on the internet. So we've got some cracking all every which direction on this thing, but we're gonna try and orient it with the biggest crack. The cracks go every which direction, so we're just gonna cut it as is and we'll fill any voids with epoxy later. This log is a little over seven feet long and it's a little bit fatter than the typical logs that we would use for the charcuterie board and cutting board projects. But with what we've been doing with the epoxy, we'll be able to take the slab, cut it down the center, flip it around and make an epic little river table out of some of these slabs. And then some of the other ones, maybe we'll make into like a coffee table, river table or something like that. But let's get this thing opened up. Let's see what the grain looks like on the inside. If you remember in that last video, when dad and I cut into the, one of these logs from the same tree, it was infested inside with termites. This one doesn't have as many signs like it would be infested. So I'm really excited to see what the inside look, looks like. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, just like last time guys, this is that Florida black walnut. You can't see it yet because it's got a lot of sawdust on there, but beautiful dark brown figure all on the inside of this. These are gonna be awesome slabs. Dang, that's, that's crazy. Let me cut an inch and a half thick slab off of this and I'll show you what it looks like and spray it down. That figure is insane. Oh my goodness. Yes. Check this out guys, this is, this is perfect. So as you guys know, we don't have black walnut down here in Florida, but I would say this is one of the closest things to something that looks like black walnut. Watch this. I'm gonna set it right here and I'm gonna get the hose and we'll spray it down. All right, check it out. Wow, that's incredible. It's even got some badass spalding right there too. Man, even the off cut piece is beautiful. Let me get you close up so you can see what it looks like. See, that's the spalding right there. All those black lines, it's crazy looking. And then you got that crazy dark brown mixed with the light brown and the white figure going all the way through this thing. What a beautiful slab. See guys, you just, you never know. Like you look out here and I've got all those logs laying around out there. You just never know what's going to be inside them. Check this out. This is that off cut top piece. Look at this. That's crazy. That's some beautiful 
Beautiful slabs right there, guys. All right, the camera's down to 11% battery, so I'll get this slab off and we'll cut another one. Beautiful. Looks like I should be able to get one more cut before I have to flip the log over. I have no doubt the inside of this one's gonna be just as beautiful. Oh my goodness, and it is. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it right here. Tell you what, since we're running out of battery on that camera, I'm just gonna move this off to the side and we'll spray them all down at the end. But dang, that's pretty. First, I gotta flip this log over to the flat side. This sweet gum log is a hell of a lot softer of a wood than whatever that was that we just cut before. It's crazy how easy the sawmill blows right through this log because it's like a soft wood. Whereas on that previous log, I had to walk with the sawmill the whole time to keep it engaged because it just was struggling because of how hard that other wood was. All right, we got the log clamped down. Let's get a couple more slabs. So it looks like we got six really nice slabs out of that. And then these two top cut pieces, which even the top cuts are beautiful. Oh my goodness, these slabs are so nice. Oh, wow. I took four of the slabs off, but I left the two book match slabs and I'm gonna spray them down and show you how beautiful it is seeing this book match figure. Check that out. That's just beautiful. We got some big storms moving in. It's an everyday occurrence here in Central Florida. The nice part is that it dropped the temperature maybe five degrees out. I'm gonna get all these sweet gum slabs out of the way. And to wrap up this video, we're gonna throw a nice little red cedar log up here, cut it into some beautiful little charcuterie board slabs, and that'll wrap it up. This little cedar log Looks to be the perfect size for our charcuterie board slabs. Seems to be clamped down nice and tight. Let's get it chopped open. See guys, even these small little logs that wouldn't look like they'd be useful for anything. Check this out. This is what I'm talking about. That simple little log just made these beautiful little red cedar slabs. It's covered in sawdust, so it's hard for you to see it, but that's perfect. That's exactly what we use for all of our charcuterie board projects. Let's get this flipped over and cut maybe two or three more slabs out of it. 
think we'll get two nice slabs out of it. All right, that's how easy it is, guys. You take one of these short little logs and you can make something really awesome out of it. Got some beautiful little charcuterie board slabs. Again, they're covered in sawdust, but we're about to hose them down and show you their true colors. All right, here we go, check this out. Beautiful little red cedar slabs. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I sure hope you enjoyed watching me cut up these nice little logs. These red cedar slabs turn out beautiful every time. We've been making so many projects out of the red cedar. Those sweet gum slabs, absolutely beautiful on the inside. It's definitely owned the nickname Florida Black Walnut in my book. And that mystery log that we cut in the very beginning, don't know what it is, but it was definitely some kind of hardwood. I'm thinking either pecan or hickory, but once again, Drop it in the comment box below if you think you know what that one was. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of this video. If you liked the video, make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos. We'll see you on the next one.